I didn't realize how big it was. Look at the fucking size of it. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Cyber Reacts. It is me, Tobe Jizzle, and KSI. And today, we're looking at the top 10 badass robots from Robot Wars. This was my Ooh. shit, bro. I used to love kid. this. I used to love yeah. this. Friday after The Simpsons, pow, Robot Wars. You know what would be great? If we did our own Robot Wars. Ooh. You know what? That's a fucking, JJ, that's a good idea. That's a shout. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we should fucking do it. <laughs> Maybe we should. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a few months. <laughs> All right, let's get some inspiration maybe for our robots. Let's see if we if we do the video. If we do the video today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top ten robots from Robot Wars. Mate, it's got a rhino horn. That's not doing anything to it. For this list, we'll be looking at the most powerful, effective, and downright iconic robots from the long-running UK series of Robot Wars. The flippers were lethal, you know. Mm. Yeah. I swear it was normally the ones that are like the most basic-looking ones that used to do the most damage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let the wars begin. Number ten, Apollo. Let the wars begin. The PSI flipper. That power comes at a cost though. They've only a limited supply of gas. It's 110 kg. That's fucking A relative wow. newcomer to the war, Damn. Apollo quickly made a name for itself with an incredibly powerful flipper, very low ground clearance and enthusiastic team members. Capable of flipping more than a ton, oh, that's one by flip. Wow. this monochrome machine has launched many rivals out of the arena completely and it has overturned the house robots Matilda, <laughs> Shunt, and Dead Metal. Debuting in the Series 8 reboot, Apollo defeated the Deadly Carbide in that year's final to become the 2016 champion. Apollo, remember the carbide did the dirt. You know what, there's, no, there's nothing you can do to it. Like, you can't, like, what, what can you, yeah. you can't damage it. Number nine, Tornado. A four-wheel drive pusher, what are the weapons? All we know about a spinning disc. We also know that it has an unreliable drive tray. I think realize how heavy they were, bro. They're all like 100 kg. They just look quite small. To one of the most successful robots in the show's history and a seemingly simple design, Tornado defeated its adversaries by sheer brute force, capable of pulling a Land Rover and able to function either side up. Capable of pulling a Land Rover, Jesus Christ. It proved to be a formidable foe for even the most battle-hardened robots, defeating other fan favorites including Chaos 2, Hypnodisc, and Pussycat, to eventually be crowned champion in Series 6. So you can even flip this one because it'll just work on the other side. That's sick. Boasting interchangeable weapon options, Tornado also went on to an international tournament, See, that's bull including the European fucking... Championship. Number eight, Carbide. This was a classic, this was. Do you remember this? Yeah, this one was lethal, bro. Dave and Sam are full-time engineers, although they found time to fully upgrade Carbide with its 25 kilo spinning bar. They've also upgraded the drive to give them nine horsepower a push. To one of the most destructive robots in the show's history, despite an unassuming appearance, Carbide utilizes a 25 kilogram bar spinner that rotates at 23,000 RPM. Oh my gosh. Imagine that chopping at your heels, a 25 kilogram no, bar I, just spinning. Oh my, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's mental. According to the Robot Wars website, when this weapon hits maximum speed, its impact generates 60 times more energy than a sniper bullet. Bro. Bro. Able to operate when upside down, Carbide proved to be an extremely deadly opponent. Yeah, bro, it just fucks, it just fucks them up, bro. Now you know how heavy these robots are, it's even more impressive, because it's sending yeah. them flying. Oh yeah, good point, bro. Imagine flipping 100 kg like it's not. Yeah, bad. literally. Yeah. Number seven, Matilda. Our house robots. That's 116. Oh, I remember, oh, I remember oh this, you know. Two house robots to feature today and a series regular since the show's inception. Robot Wars commentator Jonathan Pierce describes Matilda as their matriarch of mayhem, and that name definitely fits. There's no way that little runt's doing any damage to it, surely. Starting the show with pneumatic tusks and rear chainsaw, Matilda's weaponry was substantially upgraded in Series 5. Bro, oh! she was a Bro. badass. With a more powerful lifting mechanism. Look how big it is! I didn't realize how big it was. Look at the fucking size of it. Jesus. Mate, if we do do this, this will be sick. This will be sick. Yeah, yeah. The flywheel has since proven extremely dangerous, seriously damaging any robot foolish enough to enter her corner patrol zone. Control that, that looks like a stinking oh, robot. Whoa. Number six, Bigger Brother. I remember this as well. Nightmare in metal, they call it. This 24 volt driven machine They're, fighting ooh, in its wow. third wars with a CO2 powered gas ram spike flipper daddy and what's daughter Ellie and Joe, the Bigger Brother. An upgrade to this team's previous robot, Big Brother. Bigger Brother was a fan favourite thanks largely to the team behind it, Ian and his kids, Joe and Ellie. Wow, it's not like the kids did anything, did they? <laughs> like, 
Although they never won a tournament, they did end Chaos 2's championship streak in the Series 5 semi-final, and they defeated the dominant Hypnodisc in the Grand Final, before eventually losing what was that to yellow Razor, again? with a wide, powerful was that what opened the pit? Bigger it's Brother frequently yeah. flipped yeah. opponents yeah. out of the oh, arena, no. with four of its battles ranked in the top 30 quickest in the show's history. It is not a limitless supply! Number 5, Panic Attack. Oh, that looks, that looks lethal, well. that one. Don't panic! This is a sturdy machine protected by bulletproof fiberglass and at 80.6 kilos, the heaviest in the heat, no blades or knives, but forks, electrically powered, can raise hopes. Only a one centimetre clearance. Debuting in Series 2, Panic Attack was always dangerous, mainly thanks to the exceptional driving from team captain, Kim Davies. It's a point as well, you can have a good robot, but if your driver's shit, then you can't, you got no hope, really. Using tactics over strength, the robot's signature move was to use low ground clearance and lifting spikes to get underneath an opponent, lift them up, hit the pit release button, and lower them to their doom. And this menacing machine's record speaks for itself. It won the second series and reached the semi-finals in Series 3, 4, and 5. It was a ruthless regular Just during the show's drags original them along, run. Drop them in the oh, it looks so promising. Bash, the heat final. They need to bring this back, man. What the hell? Yeah. Number four, Sir Kill a Lot. I remember him as well. Oh, Knight of the Realm. 200 kg. 80 kilos. 300 kg. This thing was. Oh. Bro, how are you? Okay, right, let's see. As arguably the most recognizable house robot, Sekula Lost made his debut in the second war. How are you ever beaten that thing? Antagonizing yeah, it's combatants ridiculous. ever since. It Almost have weight impossible classes. to damage, today's Killer Lot model weighs in at a whopping 750 kilograms and is what? able to easily lift other machines with his hydraulic crushing claws. Well, what the bro, it's just unfair because what you, you, how you, 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 like nothing's doing anything against that. To either roast them over the fire or cast them into the pit of oblivion. Killer Lot currently holds the record for most robots sent out of the arena and is the only house robot never to have been flipped by a contender. I'm not surprised. Uh -huh. <laughs> Number three. Hypno disc. Has a 10 mm aluminium checker plate chassis and 6 mm aluminium rear armor. The disc weighs 20 kilos. Even this is 100. What the fuck? Runs at 95 miles an hour, massively destructive, but it has low pushing power. A pioneering robot as it was the first to use a spinner, Hypno disc immediately stood out from the crowd when it debuted in Series 3. It annihilated unprepared opponents with a unique design causing massive devastation and when it did have some that flaws, the complete time. carnage hit yeah, yeah, caused yeah, 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 an instant fan favourite. A consistent runner-up, Hitler Disc never actually won a championship, but it was a very best of all the rest. And you just, you just see all these get fucking mangled straight away. <laughs> in seconds, you spent months <laughs> building this thing and in seconds it's all gone. Number two, Chaos Two. Chaos! This machine has never been beaten in major contests. This is my shit. It's not even that heavy either, so this has never been beaten. 20 miles an hour top speed, brilliantly driven by George Francis, with a CO2 powered pneumatic flipper having some kick, I can tell you. I remember this. The only robot to win back to back championships, Chaos 2 had 18 consecutive wins before finally suffering defeat in Series 5. A pioneer of CO2 powered pneumatics, it proved to be a tenacious trendsetter which inspired future robots, them. including the likes of Bigger Brother, with its high grade weaponry. I wonder if you get a robot to have like flamethrowers. You, you could, but I, I don't know how much damage a flamethrower would do because they're all like made of metal anyway. Like it would have to be like a. You could. Or just give it a massive drill. Or it just plays drill every time. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Number one, Razor. Razor. That's as big as the MV of many. Crushability high, speed 11 miles an hour, moderate reliability from two trolley shop caddy motors has been low in the past, but overall, a mean machine. That claw is devastating. Topping today's list is the most successful robot in Robot Wars history, with 41 victories. Instantly recognizable thanks to its huge hydraulic crushing claw and sleek silver design, nothing was safe from its nine tons of crushing power, not even the house robots. Nine tons. Nine tons, bro. Razor was eventually crowned champion in Series 5 and following success in the main series, it won a host of international tournaments too, confirming this brutal creation as the greatest so all robot. So basically he rides up and just fucking pins. Look at that, bro, you just yeah, can't bro, stop it. Let's go straight through. Yeah. There's never been quite seen like this before. Not Matilda. Well, that's giving me some inspiration if we are if we are going to do a video like this in the future. <laughs>